Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to PLCY 701, Natural Law, the State, and the Gospel. I am Dr. Lee Cheek, and I will be serving as your professor this semester, and I am honored to be sharing in this educational experience with you. PLCY 701 is a fundamental course in the graduate curriculum of the Helms School of Government. It is an introduction to the great ideas of the West and of Christianity as they relate to forming, preserving, and perpetuating the best and most just regime. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare yourselves for a great adventure. This will be a significant challenge to us, but the rewards of that challenge will be tremendous. And so please, fully engage yourself, work hard, and I will be with you every step of the way as we study these great texts, apply these great texts, and benefit from the wisdom that they have to share with us and how we as students of political science and public policy can use these ideas uh, in our lives as um, government officials, policymakers, citizens, and as a thinkers uh, about the nature of politics and the nature of the moral life. 701 gives us an introduction to some very challenging text, but some of the most important texts you will ever encounter in your lives. Some of you may encounter some of these before, some of you may have not, but work hard. Take these texts very seriously. In fact, they are some of the most important uh, that one can encounter in the study of politics, and that's why we have put this course together in this way. This class will involve a significant amount of writing. Graduate school is a process that engages critical thinking, writing, communication, serious thoughts about what makes the best regime, what is the moral life. You're going to be writing a good bit of this class. Take writing seriously. I'll be taking it very seriously. That is your writing in this course. We'll be talking more about that in a few moments. Every project will require a bibliography. Part of graduate school is learning the nature of proper citations of sources, the proper use of sources, so that you can then make the best use of all available information as a graduate student. This is very important. Let's talk about where we're headed and how we're going to get there. There is a course requirements checklist that you need to begin the course by filling out, as well as reading all the introductory material, uh, all the updates, and all of the announcements that I have provided for you and will provide uh, throughout the course. It's very important to have all those uh, uh, read and, and studied, and that will help you throughout the course. Week one, we'll look at the ancient precursors of natural law. We'll look at the great minds of the Hellenistic world, Plato and Aristotle, and we'll have our first assignment, which is a discussion. Our discussions are always a thousand word contribution by you uh, with 10 sources due on Thursday when we have a discussion. And then uh, the requirement is to have reply to two of your colleagues. Uh, where a discussion, main discussion post, a thousand word post, you should have 10 sources, a reply, which is uh, due on Sunday, when we have a discussion, you only need three sources. And by the way, discussion and, and interaction is very much part of graduate school, and this is how we carry it out in the Helm School. It's meant to be civil, decorous, and everyone contributing to our overall knowledge of the topic we're studying, it is okay to disagree, but not be disagreeable. We're scholars in search of the truth, after all. This is not a uh, new show on uh, cable television. These, we are, we're approaching this topic as scholars who are genuinely searching to know what is best and what is true. Second week, we'll, have our, we'll be turning to Cicero, another great contributor 
to uh, the notion of politics and the moral life. And we'll have our first book review. That book review is a 10-page assignment. And we'll have two of these in the course of the class. Uh, our third week, we'll turn to early Christian natural law and turn to the great Augustine, uh, the great Bishop of Hippo, uh, and one of the uh, most significant thinkers uh, in the in the Christian uh, orbit. This will be another discussion assignment. Week four, we'll turn to medieval uh, Christian natural law, and we'll turn to um, St. Thomas Aquinas, the great uh, synthesizer, the great scholar of natural law uh, in the Christian tradition, where we'll have a discussion assignment. Week five, We'll turn to early reform Christian natural law. Look at Luther. Look at Hooker. We'll have another discussion assignment. Week six, we have our second book review, uh, and our theme will be systematic reform Christian natural law. And we'll turn to uh, John Calvin and a another book that helps put these uh, topics and our overall concerns together. Week seven, we turn to early modern. Secular natural law, we turn to the three great social contract theorists, Hobbes, Locke, and Rousseau. And here we'll have an apply assignment that we call a policy memorandum. And I'll give you some examples of policy memorandums. But you're going to use the ideas that you've learned uh, in the previous weeks to respond to a practical public policy challenge. And how the ideas that you've encountered and the ideas that you have shared with your classmates help you understand and approach and, may, and maybe even offer a, uh, a potential resolution to a pressing policy issue. Week 8, our final week, which will end on the Friday of that week, that will be the deadline, is the major assignment of the semester. It's a research paper, 20 pages, 20 sources, and we'll be looking at what what happened when natural law declined after natural law, and we'll look at the contemporary uh, political theorist John Rawls. This is a quick overview of how we're going to get started, where we're going to go, and how we're going to get there. But you'll be needing to read each assignment, looking at each module each week, and putting the pieces together. I am here to help you. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of information about myself uh, that I provided. If you're interested, if not, no need to read it. Uh, most of my materials are available at my website, uh, www.drleecheek.net, drleecheek.net. Um, just to let you know, I've been teaching political science for 40 years. I'm also a United Methodist minister, former Army chaplain. Uh, I specialize in Christian political thought, uh, and this is of great interest in, uh, to me and my life, and I believe it will also be of great interest to you. In fact, I think it will be a very formative influence as you uh, begin and continue your graduate studies at the Helm School of Government. Again, I am privileged to be in this course with you. We are going to work hard, but we're going to come to great understanding. We're going to come to a, a deeper appreciation of the influence of Christianity, of natural law, and the moral basis of politics. Ladies and gentlemen, let us commence.